All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone. Salutation and much love to Yahweh, out there pushing out his word and truth and sincerity. And uh, as you see, I have a looping in post production. Um, this proud ass Edomite. All right, um, you know, as you can see, boy, Esau is proud. Um, but they, they go to show you who, um, uh, who Esau is, man. They, they show you it every, you know, every day. And if this ain't Esau, then I don't know who is. All right, so, you know, we're just gonna bring out some, uh, uh scriptures, you know, because you see the eagle on top of the car. <laughs> There you go, man. That tells you everything you need to know. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> let's see here. Let me do a quick search of. Well, actually, let me go to Obadiah first, and then we'll we'll look that up. This is Obadiah one and one. It says the vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen thou art greatly despised. And that's Esau Edom, man. All right, because no no other nation, all right, on the planet is despised such as Esau Edom. And you ask yourself, who who do who do all the nations hate? Who do who do who do they want out of their country? Who's going around policing the earth, right? It's this it's, it's the self proclaimed white man, all right, which is Esau Edom, all right, and and all the nations despise him, all right. Well, uh, I know I won't look. All right, but anyway, verse 3 says, The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. All right, and where do where do where does Esau Edom like to live? He liked to live up in them skyscrapers. All right, he liked to live when he was in uh, Mount Petra. All right, Mount Seir. All right, they, 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 they like to live in the caves, man. It says, Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? So, you know, Esau Edom boy, he like the, he was, he's the true original caveman. All right, he is the caveman that uh, he likes to speak about. All right, the, uh, what he calls it, he calls it the, um, the Neanderthals. Well, Esau is the, he's, Esau is a Neanderthal man. He's a, he's a damn caveman. All right. Look, look at, look at uh, the architecture of his. Um, you know of America, pretty much like, like the Capitol buildings and so on. It's the same as is uh, Mount Petra. If you look it up and see her, Mount Seir, you know the Caucasus Mountains, all that. He he does the same shit. That's a key sign of who Esau Edom is. And of course, the Satan want to whatever. It right, says verse four: Thou that though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. What is it? What is a America's national bird, or you know, whatever they call it, the the bird of a uh, the national? Damn, what do they call it? Uh, you know, the their the, the the symbol, you know, the bird symbol that they use is eagle. Same as the Greeks, same as the Romans. Okay, that's what they use, the eagle. They don't use a turkey or a dove. All right, they use the eagle. All right, it says, and as you see in the video, look, look, look what he got flying high, <laughs> the eagle. And got the pictures on the side of the, the truck as the eagle. You know, this is a clear indicator of who Esau is, man. It says, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though, and, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith you hope, the Lord Yahweh. So the Lord's going to bring you proud-ass Edomites down. And and this is something that I can't... Uh, um, to prove that Esau is 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 is, is the is the so-called the self-proclaimed white man, right? The one that put us in slavery, the one that came over here, uh, uh, as a uh, you know in the 1400s and and 1500s to 1600s, the ones that put us, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans into slavery is is Esau Edom. Let's let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 28, all right, which is which the prophecies are in the curses that were going to befall us. And let's see what it says here in verse 49. It says, The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, because they came speaking languages we didn't understand. Spanish, French, English. All right. And look, it said, but the, the key point that I wanted to get, it says, as swift as the eagle. All right. So it's showing you a characteristic, a characteristic of these people. All right. It's pretty much explaining how they were going to come swift as the eagle, right? 
but that's a key indicator of of, of who that who that people would be and uh, again like uh obadiah we read in obadiah man though thou exalt thyself as the eagle man all right there you go man but what <laughs> you saw he's proud man he's he's a proud ass devil the, the, he, they, they always say oh proud to be an american proud to be this proud to be that well the, the most high resisted the proud man the most high hates pride all right so let's get into some of these scriptures about pride now all right this is uh proverbs 16 and 18 it, re it reads pride goeth before destruction all right so what's coming onto esau edom destruction because what he's proud he's a proud man knowing nothing you know esau edom is the proudest uh devil there is on the planet man you can't tell him nothing you know he's a boaster because what the pride has his the pride of his heart has deceived him all right the lord has has puffed him up you know he's so proud that he he he, he can't even see that he's going down man he can't see that his destruction is is at hand all right just read that again it says proverbs 16 and 18 pride goeth before destruction and then halt his spirit before our fall so there you go man the the esau edom has that halt his spirit man and, and you can clearly see his, he's falling. All right. He's on the way out of here. Because what? The pride of his heart has deceived him. And he can't even see it, man. He's the, he, the Lord is deceiving him through his pride, man. That's how, uh, uh, that's how the Lord is taking him down, man. With his own pride. Let's go to Sirach, uh 10 and 7. It says, pride is hateful before the Most High and man. And by both does one commit iniquity. So, hey, the, the mo not only does the Most High despise pride, but it, it, nobody likes a proud person, man. Because what? They're, 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 they're just always gloating about themselves. All right? Talking shit. And let me just look at this guy, man. He dr dressed as Captain America. He thought I was recording him as, a, you know, he's so proud that he threw up the peace sign. Like, like he, he, he got it, man. Like, this, that's how proud he was, man. You know damn well you look like a, a, a damn clown. All right. But look, he's so proud that he's deceived, man. <laughs> but it's a hateful thing before the Most High, man. Nobody likes a proud person, man. You, you know, this is Proverbs 6 and 16. It says, the, These six things does Yahweh hate. Yea, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look. A lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deceive deviseth wicked imaginations, <coughs> feet that are feet that be swift and run into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and thus and he that soweth discord among brethren. That's that all those things that's Esau Edom. Alright, but the point I wanted was a proud look. And look at this guy, man. He's a he's got a proud ass look on him. Cause what he's proud to be an American. But clearly, look at the look at the damn car. I mean, he's captain. He's dressed as Captain America for Christ's sake. He's proud to be an American, man. Proud to be born in the good old USA. If that, if this is not Esau Edom, then who is? Where's he at? Point him out. And the Most High hates you, you damn Edomites, man. Pursuing the Malachi. Matter of fact, let's go to it. This is Malachi. It's a lot. This is Malachi, one. All right, Malachi chapter one. Verse 3, and I hated Esau and, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So the Lord said he hates Esau, man. He don't he don't kind of like him, you know, kind of dislike him. No, he hates him. It says, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus say, Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. So the Lord's going to throw all this down that Esau has his good old America. The, the, what he's proud to be an American, proud to be, he's proud of, of, of where America's uh, have gotten. Well, guess what? The Lord's going to throw it down. He's going to destroy it utterly. It says, and they shall call on the border of wickedness and the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. So the Lord has indignation with you Edomites forever. Against you Edomites, man. And you're the border, you're the wicked that the Bible speaks of. The, and the key indicator is your pride, man. You can't tell me that Esau ain't proud, man. Your everyday, even your everyday Edomite, man. Your low-level Edomites, they're proud as hell, man. So how much more the, the the top elite of Esau, man? They're proud. All right, let's go to um. Let's see here. Let's go to Psalms, chapter twelve, verse three. Yep. 
Yeah, check. Psalms 12 and 3 says, The Lord shall... I'll start at 2. It says, They speak vanity every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips, and with a double heart do they speak. Yahweh shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. You saw, man, hey, look at, watch some clips of Donald Trump, man. That, that nigga, base nigga E, all right, speaks the most proudest things I've ever heard come out of somebody's mouth, man. Donald Trump is the face of, 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 of the Edomite, man. He looked like an eagle, <laughs> eagle face Trump. Yeah, you look at him from the side and he speaks proud things, man, because he's what? The, the heart, the pride of thine heart has deceived thee. You know, this guy is a proud devil, all right? No ifs, ands, buts about it. And you know what? The Lord's going to destroy all the proud. Beginning with Esau, Edom. All right? Because that, that's the proudest. That's as, about as proud as it gets right there, Esau, Edom. All right? Isaiah 2 and 11. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. That's right. So, guess what? Them lofty ass looks that you Edomites give, all right? Your little Captain America, all that's going to be brought down, all right? Going to be bowed down. Verse 12, for the day of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. So you you devils, you Edomites are going down. You're going to be brought low, as low as it gets. You're going to be back in your state, that caveman, since you like, you know, to be such... A cleft of the rocks and whatnot, you're gonna be in, in ditches, all right. You're gonna be living in ditches and holes in the ground, all right. You that you're gonna dig yourself, that's gonna be your home, uh, like, like uh, uh, under a rock, you know. You because you, you, you're a base man, you're gonna be brought low. You like that, you're going back to the caveman, you're gonna be grunting, you're not, you're not gonna have a language, you're not gonna have nothing, all right. You gonna be grunting like a, a damn mule, brain like the a uh, 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 a donkey, you know? Cause the Lord is bringing the proud and lofty down, all right. And anybody that wanna be joined hand in hand with this devil is going down with him, all right. If you if you're an Israelite and you're proud to be an American, may the Lord bring swift judgment upon you. Cause you going down right with him, all right. This is Rock going back, Rock to ten. It's Rock chapter 10 and uh, 14 this time. It says, the Lord, hath, the Lord hath cast down the thrones of proud princes and set up the meek in their stead. So the Lord's going to bring down the proud and lift up the meek, the humble. All right. He's going to flip the tables just like he flipped the tables back then. He, he set up, he put Israel, which was on top. He put them on the bottom and, and brought who was on the bottom, which was Esau, Edom, the base man. All right. He put them on top, and now the Lord's gonna put things right back up, man. Right side up. Okay. You, you, the base man is going back to the base man. All right. You're going back to the caveman that you are, the, the, the a brute beast. All right. No, you're not gonna be calling no more shots. You're not gonna be proud anymore. Too proud to be an American. Proud. To, you ain't gonna be proud to be nothing, cause you're gonna be nothing. All right. Verse 15 it says, "The Lord hath plucked up the roots of the proud nations, and planted the lowly in their place." There you go, man. The Lord's going to pluck up all you proud ass nations. You know, it is, you know, obviously Americans, you Edomite, you American Edomites, all right? You're the proudest of all the Edomites, but, you know, you, you got these other Edomites that, you know, in Britain, Russia, and so on and so forth that are proud as well. So guess what? They're, they're, they're going to be plucked up too, and, and, the, and the Israelites going to be planted in their stead, all right? One kingdom shall be translated to another, all right? So it's time for you proud ass devils to go down and for the meek to come up. Alright, with that, my walk level ball.